Good morning friends. Today we are going to see the mechanism of action of aminoglycoside antibiotics. So let us see the mechanism of action of aminoglycoside antibiotic. So aminoglycoside antibiotics. This aminoglycoside antibiotics they act on gram negative bacteria so their spectrum of activity is on gram negative they first of all they enter into the bacterial cell where their site of action is ribosomes see their entry into the bacteria is dependent on oxygen so they are effective only in the aerobic microorganism so aminoglycoside antibiotics they enter into the bacteria in the oxygen dependent manner they their site of action is the ribosome where they will bind with they will bind with 30s ribosomal subunit 30s ribosomal subunit and they inhibit the protein synthesis protein synthesis so this is the main mechanism of action through which the aminoglycoside antibiotic works the first molecule in the aminoglycoside antibiotic was the streptomycin and this is the main mechanism through which the streptomycin is working while the later generation or later molecules from the aminoglycoside they have the another action also means they can also bind with the other ribosomal subunits like see uh, the 30s 30s the bacteria bacterial ribosome they have the two subunit one is the 30s and another is the 50s while the human is having the 40 and 60 and that's why the aminoglycoside antibiotics they won't affect the human cell protein synthesis so bacteria is having the two ribosomal subunit 30s and 50s the aminoglycoside antibiotics their main mechanism is by inhibiting the 30s ribosomal subunit but the later generation or later the newer molecules from the aminoglycoside they can also bind with they can also bind with 50s ribosomal subunit and interface of 30 50 ribosomal subunit so they can bind with the interface of 30 50s ribosomes so once they bind with the this side they causes the interference or misreading of they causes the misreading of mrna code the misreading of mrna code and this misreading could lead to the abnormal protein synthesis abnormal protein synthesis so this two action that leads to the decrease in the protein synthesis and production of the abnormal protein synthesis that both produces the bacteriostatic effect however the aminoglycoside antibiotics they also have the bactericidal effect that is in the dose dependent manner what they do is uh, on the dose dependent manner they change the integrity of bacterial cell membrane right so they they change the integrity integrity means it's a normal function of bacterial cell membrane so they are interfering with the function of the bacterial cell membrane and that leads to the bactericidal effect but that effect is on a dose dependent manner while these two effects they are responsible for the bacteriostatic okay so mechanism 
एमिनोग्लाइकोसाइड एंटीबायोटिक्स दे एंटर इनटू द बैक्टीरिया इन द ऑक्सीजन डिपेंडेंट मैनर सो दे आर इफेक्टिव ओनली इन द एरोबिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म देयर टारगेट साइट ऑफ एक्शन इज रिबोसोम्स वेयर दे विल बाइंड विद द 30th रिबोसोमल सब यूनिट एंड दे इनहिबिट द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस the bacteria have the 30th and 50th ribosomal subunit while the human cell is having the 40 and 60 and that's why the aminoglycoside antibiotic they want affect the host cell so they inhibit this 30 uh, they bind with the 30th ribosomal subunit they inhibit the function of that that's why they causes the inhibition of the protein synthesis while other than the streptomycin this is the this is the main site they this is the main mechanism of action for all the aminoglycoside antibiotics while the streptomycin is producing their effect by only this way while the other than the streptomycin they can also bind they can also bind with the 50s ribosomal subunit and 30s 50s ribosomal interface so these are the another two sites where the uh, other aminoglycoside antibiotics bind and they causes the misreading of mrna code misreading of mrna code that leads to the abnormal protein synthesis and that is responsible for the bacteriostatic effect while the aminoglycosides they also have the bactericidal effect and that bactericidal effect is because of the interfering interfere with the bacterial cell membrane function they change the integrity of bacterial cell membrane and that's why they causes the bactericidal effect so what we need we, think we need to remember this one they have the means mechanism through inhibiting the 30th ribosomal subunit they also bind with 50s and 3050 interface but that is for other than the streptomycin right and the third one is they change the integrity of the cell membrane that causes the bactericidal mechanism so that is all about the aminoglycosides Thank you